Life is not about us. It's about the service we can do for others, glorifying the God who created us in His image. It's discovering the talents God has given us and employing them in His service. Life is about learning to balance our physical and spiritual natures. We were made by God and for God and must learn to give our lives to Him. Harding Character Initiative provides the opportunity to teach the Bible in places where Scripture is not shared as freely as we are used to. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, succinctly states the objective of these seminars. Frequently, this is referred to as the Great Commission. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. In spring 2010, for the eighth year in a row, the Harding University College of Business Administration and the State University of Informatics and Artificial Intelligence in Donetsk, Ukraine, conducted a seminar titled The Importance of Personal Character in Business. The seminar involved the participation of a group of Harding University students, one faculty member, a graduate student from the Ukraine who served as a translator, and the director and assistant director of Harding Character Initiative. Participants are encouraged to realize that all people are spiritual beings and that our work must involve service, giving, and sharing. The workplace is the laboratory in which we demonstrate the spiritual side of who we are while earning a living. The principal thing, uh, the most important thing we're teaching is that um, we need to have character, we need to have values in the way we do business. If we want to be successful, if we, have, if we want to, to achieve a lot of things, we have to have strong values, a strong foundation. God does uh, expect us and want us to work in, and uh, to, to develop and um, uh, to create and to serve one another. And so if we can show those truths in business, then we can take it to the next level and be able to show the greater truths uh, of what God has in store for us. Harding University economics professor Bud Hebert is someone who has developed the ability to glorify God by teaching others how to discover their own talent. In the spring of 2001, Eastern European Missions in Houston, Texas, invited Dr. Hebert to conduct a business seminar in Volgograd, Russia. Then in 2003, Dr. Hebert developed a curriculum and presented a seminar for the Donetsk State Institute of Artificial Intelligence in the Ukraine. More than 60 students completed the first seminar conducted during spring break of 2003. Since that first visit, Dr. Hebert has led a small group of dedicated Harding students back to Donetsk each spring break. We, we've been doing this for a number of years and, and the reason that we started it was to try and, and deal with an audience and talk to them about how important values are. In 2007, Harding University and Eastern European Missions formed a partnership called Harding Character Initiative. The purpose of the partnership is to use business skills as a means of presenting the Word of God to young people in Eastern Europe. The students from Harding University who participated in the seminar were mostly from Central America, Mexico, and Canada. They prepared themselves for the seminar by attending a Sunday night class each week several months before the mission trip. There they reviewed the material they were going to teach to the Ukrainian students. 
Additionally, they received classes on how to be prepared for the 25-hour trip to Ukraine, how to make better use of their money while in Europe, and their daily schedule for the 12-day campaign. The students from the Donetsk Institute of Artificial Intelligence who participated were majoring in economics and philosophy and religion. They all understood English and many were able to communicate verbally. Most had heard about the seminar from friends who participated in past years and many were motivated to be there to learn more about the United States economic model that has been so successful in the world. Интересные лекции, это очень полезно для нашей специальности, как в бизнесе, в экономике. И это даже очень интересно и увлекательно для таких студентов, как мы. Я уверена в большинстве случаев, что в других университетах этих семинаров вообще не проводятся, тем более. The total cost for each Harding University student participating in the campaign was about $2,500. Each student was required to raise a significant share of their own expenses. Eastern European missions contributed a $500 scholarship to each of the Harding students who committed to the trip. An additional $800 was raised as a travel scholarship for each student. Each student then had to raise the additional $1,200 needed for the mission trip. The budget for the $2,500 was used as follows. Air travel from Little Rock to Ukraine and return including ground transportation was $1,300. Room and board, $900. Visa application, $150. Translators, $50. And miscellaneous expenses, $100. The Ukrainian students saw a side of business that for the most part is alien to most of them. And they saw the value of applying these concepts in their workplaces. Um, I've just really enjoyed being here and meeting the people here. It's really changed me and really helped me to understand, you know, how we can help, you know, and I've seen a lot of people who are really paying attention and they're really engaged. You know, God really did make us all pretty much the same, with the same issues, uh, but it is our culture and our beliefs and what we've been taught and how we think the world operates that has made us different. And that's what we're trying to do, I guess, here is try to bridge and find out where some of those differences are and between us be able to bring out what uh, the truth is. The Harding University students who participated in the mission trip also received lessons on basic conversational Russian. The fact that the Ukrainian students spoke basic English made communication much easier. I think this really is a great opportunity and all. Uh, before coming, I was like really concerned about the language because I thought it was not, I was not going to be able to communicate with the students. But I have realized that that's not like the most important thing because uh, when it comes to friendship, they are like really welcoming and they are really nice people. And they are really uh, like interested in getting to know you and who you are and where you come from. The students that came with us from those different countries uh, then took the time to talk about what they were doing. And being from different countries, they now have developed service projects. So El Salvador has a project, uh, Honduras has a project, Guatemala has a project. Узнали много о американской культуре, поделились а также своей, и нас очень сильно тронула компания студентов, тем, чем они занимаются. Мы бы хотели бы продолжить такую же компанию у нас на Украине, были бы очень счастливы, чтобы, если мы могли бы точно так же помогать. Harding Character Initiative is developing a similar program in Central America. We started last summer uh, taking uh, some of these concepts, some of these ideas, to a, a small institute in Tegucigalpa in Honduras, where now my daughters and I are going to go down to uh, Panama and put on a two-day seminar at a small university down there, and we'll talk about the same concepts. This trip was equally beneficial for the Ukrainian students and the Harding students. The relationships and lifelong teachings developed from this journey are evidence of the success of this mission trip. Также я хотел бы выразить свое желание участвовать в подобных программах и помогать людям из других стран.